So you're a content creator or a live streamer who is trying to level up their content and you're looking for an easier way to get it done. Maybe you like something that's minimalistic, simplistic or something like that. Then um, check out this backdrop from Ube. And we're going to be talking about the lights that you can use uh, to achieve this. Let's talk about it. If you're looking to level up your content creation and maybe you're looking for a nice, just simple, simplistic background and you don't want all this stuff on the walls and stuff like that, maybe you're a live streamer or you do talk ahead videos, maybe you know, you're a photographer, videographer and you're looking for something like this, or maybe you're renting a space and you don't want to hang things up on your wall through drilling through and trying to find studs and do all that stuff and maybe you know, it's in your lease statement or something like that, you can't do that at all, then this is going to be a product I think that is going to be uh, geared towards you. With that being said, we're going to be talking about the Rube collapsible backdrop. They did send this out for my thoughts and opinions and my use case scenarios on it and everything that I presented it to them. And I think this one is going to be very, very, uh, I would say helpful to a lot of content creators out there who, again, maybe can't drill into the walls and stuff, but they also do different types of content creation, whether it be photography, videography, and live streams and talking head videos and stuff this is going to be able to do it all because it's in gray and I'll show you what that means but first I do want to go ahead and specify that there are two size options this is one of their bigger size options in that gray format and I want to make sure that and stress that you guys make sure that it can fit in your space because the, it's pretty it's pretty big as you can possibly see um it's 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 kind of it's kind of long so you want to make sure that it will fit in your space and um make sure you do some measurements and calculations and everything but also keep in mind what type of content you're going to be doing because again i want to get into some photography at work as far as doing uh, shoots and stuff like that for me and my family and possible other people where i live at because i you know i got three different cameras and i kind of want to you know branch out and see what i can do wherever nothing too professional just you know something fun to do on the side as well as possibly working with other content creators within uh where i live that i've kind of already reached out and talked to and stuff like that and we kind of discuss the little things as well as if you're interested in any of that stuff in the future or wherever i'll be trying to post those stuff if i can on instagram if people allow me to or you know whatever i can use this backdrop for it will be over there so follow the instagram link in the description as well as a link in the description to rubay's website and their amazon's uh, store page right below the subscribe button right there in that description and um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about what you can actually use this backdrop for why the gray one is possibly the one that you want to go with if you're looking to do different types of content creation because again the only ones that have been out there uh, as far as people have talked about you know, over the past several years is the green and blue but nobody's really talking about what you can get with this gray option as well as again the only gray ones that you have seen or when you look up on youtube is the ones that are drilled into your wall that people use to get the same effect that i'm going to be talking about in this video this is going to be great let me show you All right, so it's the next day. I'm re-recording this because I already rendered the video. Didn't like how it went, so we're re-recording this. So again, the backdrop from Rube, you're gonna wanna keep the actual instruction manual because it uh, also tells you a lot of things of how to take care of the backdrop because it's a fabric backdrop. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you keep it so you know how to clean it and what not to use to clean it. And keeping reminding yourself that you don't want this in direct sunlight because that's gonna possibly ruin the fabric um, as well as I would say, having somewhat uh, powerful lights probably that just kind of makes sense to me if you can't have it in direct sunlight um, that that would also be something you want to be careful of and then on top of that you want to avoid it in putting it in um, windy situations or strong air currents or anything so it doesn't fall over because the only thing that's keeping it up is these little feet or wherever at the bottom of the product so the problem right there is that I kind of wish for the wider version there was a one or two, two extra feet at the bottom to keep it a little bit more stable I did notice bumping into it does seem to cause it to wobble but i wouldn't say 
like it's something that you need to really, really worry about as far as how much force you would have to put behind the actual backdrop bumping um, to make it fall over or something like that. You would have to, I would say, noticeably bump into it. And um, I've never had it fall over or worried about it having fallen it over doing the shots and, and just working with it for the limited time that I have. Uh, been doing so so that's just something i do want to make you guys aware of just make sure if you have pets or little ones or whatever to take care that you're using this in a space to where um, that won't be an issue um, and on top of that you should probably be doing that anyways making sure that you know kids and, and pets and stuff don't get into your uh, i would say equipment and stuff when you're doing professional stuff or just live streaming or anything like that anyways um, just because from a safety standpoint with that being said we're gonna go ahead and talk about what I would use this for and the, I would say this different sizing. There is a smaller version or a, a one that's not as wide, but I will say if you are going to be possibly doing some client work or maybe you're getting into photography with, for your whole family, or more than one person being in, you know, like in front of this backdrop, then I will go ahead and get the wider one. Um, just because even with me trying to make sure that I was in frame and stuff like that, depending on how far away you are from the camera and how far away your backdrop is and you know, just a whole bunch of other factors coming into it. You want to make sure that you're fitting yourself in frame and having enough space to fit maybe somebody else in frame and stuff. This is just going to be a little bit easier uh, to be done if you are just going to go ahead and get the wider one again you want to make sure that you have the space to accommodate so do your research see your space plan it out and stuff like that before you go out and make this purchase um, then again like I said you can always you know just upgrade in the future or you know return it and get the bigger one if need be whether through Amazon returning policy or the website returning policy with that being said I will go ahead and tell you guys that a light like this for what we're trying to do this 60 watt uh, RGB flood lamp or whatever does not put out enough output or is not bright enough to really affect I would say the backdrop or whatever in the sense of what we're trying to do so I would avoid doing uh, flood lamps and stuff like that unless you can get one that's powerful enough that tells you the exact uh, I would say lumens or lux because what you want is the the brightness of the light to be uh, I would say bright obviously not the wattage because the wattage just tells you the power consumption that uh, or the potential power consumption what you want is the lux to be i would say uh up in high in number because that equates to how bright that light is so you could have a hundred watt light and a 60 watt light and the 60 watt light actually be brighter than a hundred watt light because of its lux or lumens or wherever it's actually higher so that's what you want to pay attention to when you purchase an item so i would not use something like this or wherever this is just a cheap flood lamp that you can find from walmart that i use in this space it looks good on camera and everything but unfortunately for like i said for the backdrop that we're trying to use um and on top of that, what we're trying to use the backdrop for, it's just not bright enough. So what I'm gonna be using is this purple light or pink light that you see over here. This is the newer um, CB100C. I will leave it linked in the description as well to another one that is actually cheaper than this. Usually, typically these RGB cob lights like this are going to be um, more expensive. But the thing that I've noticed is that newer is the only one that's actually lower, I would say, in cost when it comes to having uh, bi-color lights as well as RGB lights that are sometimes go on sale below 200 and you're not going to find I would say another company out here that provides something like this that is uh, sustainable wherever at this price point or wherever and on top of that going on sale and having the RGB effect now I know some people talk about some panel lights that are really good or wherever that you could use and possibly some aperture lights or wherever like the aperture MC for color and everything and possibly some uh, bar tube lights having two of them on either section. So I'll put some recommendations down below. Um, there are times where you can get a pack of two and stuff like that. So it's just depending on what you need and your workflow, if you have the space for something like this and then putting it on like a, a tripod or something like that, then that's fine. Or you want the wand lights or the stick lights or something like that. I just got this for possibly using it for I would say photo shoots and um, client work and stuff like that rather than getting the little tube or wand lights um, so that's just your use case scenario make sure you get the proper light to be able to do what we're about to do 
and I'm gonna go ahead and demo it. One last thing I do wanna say before you use a light like this, make sure that if it comes with something like this, this is called a reflector or beauty dish, whatever people wanna call it nowadays, make sure that you're taking this off because uh, this is going to cause the light to be more spotlighty and it's gonna direct the light or wherever to be a little bit too harsh on the background and it's not gonna let the light spill because that's what we want, we want the light spill on the background. So with that being said, let me go ahead and show you guys what this thing can do. Now, as you can see, we have the newer light behind me and I'm gonna cycle through the RGB and I'll try to put up what I rendered the other day or whatever to show you if you crop in um, what it would potentially look like. But essentially you can see the type of background that you can get for your YouTube videos. So what you're seeing right now is how high my sit stand desk can go. And in order to move my camera higher or wherever to really get me in frame and crop me in or wherever in the video, um, I would have to disassemble the actual camera arm and then reassemble it and move the actual pole. And stuff. It's just too much because I have to disassemble this anyways to get the new mechanism that I'm gonna be using for video. So that's for another later date or wherever. So, Essentially, I would try to show you guys what it would look like if you were just in frame. But again, if you're a little bit shorter than me, you know, a typical sit stand desk or wherever and camera placement, webcam placement or something like that, um, you could see how this would be good for your, I would say, stream background or something like that. Now, this is, again, just with one light from the newer light or wherever. So essentially, if you had, you know, a light over here to the side or wherever, like the tube lights, like I'll probably show an example wherever, and you had another light on the side, you could get rid of the dark areas on your backdrop and um, essentially, you know, make it look really, really good. And then maybe have like a little aperture or pocket light or wherever to go in the middle. There's multiple different combos that you can do to really get this to pop or wherever. So this one light could possibly, you know, do it again, depending on how close you are to the backdrop with your light how back, uh, further back your backdrop is, how close you are to your camera or your subject or wherever is to the camera and what you're trying to do as far as product photography, videography, uh, multiple subjects in frame and stuff like that. And as you can see with me already being tall and being, I would say considerably somewhat uh, away from the backdrop, um, you might wanna go for the wider one. You know what I'm saying? This is why I kind of talked about that a little bit um, because you need to know what your use case scenario is and potentially, you know, the smaller one might not be uh, well suited as you may think to what you're trying to do. So again, it just all depends. If you're sitting down in your chair or wherever and there's enough distance between you and the backdrop and stuff like that and you get the perfect angle, I think if it's just you and you're just using free live streams to do something like this similarly, or maybe you get the green screen one or wherever, I think it will get the job done. But again, if you're trying to do multiple faceted, I would say types of content, and you're trying to get into photography, videography, and you want something like this, and maybe for thumbnails and all that stuff, product B-roll, shooting stuff, talking heads and everything, I think you're gonna wanna opt for the wide one, even if you're, again, a solo creator. That's just my personal opinion. I think the return on investment or wherever would be really good on it, especially, again, if you are getting into that photography and it kinda pays itself off doing client work or wherever, or at least paid work, period. But yeah, that's my old and honest thoughts and opinions on this thing. I think it's really, really good. I think the combo with the actual newer light is wherever is really, really good. And the reason why I wanted to bring this to um, the type of audience that I have is because, again, a lot of people, when they think of this kind of stuff, they're thinking of the green screens and stuff or the blue screen and using it in that way because um, people have gotten away with the traditional like stands or whatever that we used to have for green screens and uh, people like you know, plastering them on a wall or something like that, or they get a collapsible stream like this. But nobody's really talking about, you know, the black options, the white options and the gray options out there. And this is just unlimited, I would say colors, unlimited background colors or whatever for whatever your type of content creation you're doing. And um, again, if you don't wanna attach stuff to the wall and, you know, damage your walls or wherever, even if you're owning the place, and maybe again, you're not somebody who's handy or have the tools or know somebody who can come and do it for you, this is probably one of the best options out there uh, for you. So links in the description to Rube and their website and their Amazon store page, and uh, as well as links to this light and other lights, I would say that you could possibly use to pull off something like this. Most of the time you are gonna want something like newer or something like that. So I'll probably just only put newer lights because I know for a fact they have companion apps and their companion apps, at least in my personal experience using this light um, is actually really good. Um, so again, those lights will be suggested down and below. 
below. So definitely check them out. And uh, yeah, with that being said, y'all take care. Have a squid task today. And Rube, you killed it with this. I think this is really, really good. And I think that more, hopefully more and more content creators see this video and see what you can possibly do with their backdrop. And um, yeah, check it out for yourself. Again, if you're not, if you don't want the gray one, you don't want this or whatever, but maybe this piques your interest in any other, I would say colorway. Again, they have the blue, they have the black, they have the white, and they have the green. So different color options, different size options. Just go out there and check it out. I would say they have some other photography devices out there on their website and on Amazon. On, so check those out too that's something that hopefully in the future i can review as well because um it's mind-blowing the type of quality and the type of uh, i would say devices that they have for content creators uh just across the board regardless on what type of content they're providing so with that being said y'all take care have a squid task today god bless you and yours and deuces to everybody much love